Hi, butterflies. How is your week going? I hope everyone's having fun doing the camping unit. We are going to do a little craft. Make a campfire. So you need some brown construction paper to be your wood, a pair of scissors, and some red paint, yellow paint, and orange paint, but I don't have orange paint, but I mixed red and yellow and made orange. So do y'all remember that art lesson that Miss Roberts taught us at the beginning of the year where we talked about primary and secondary colors? So this is really fun. So if you want to try to do that, um, you can mix red and yellow and make orange. Um, all right. So, and again, um, art is whatever it is um, you want to make it. So um, let's see. Uh, I'm so distracted. We're trying to get ready to leave the house. Um, and so I'm just trying to do this real quick. But um, oh, this is what I was going to tell you is that if you don't have brown construction paper to make your wood um, or your logs to make your campfire, um, feel free to use whatever color you have because art is, um, is your idea. It's your creativity. So it doesn't always have to be the color that, um, the wood is in nature. So have fun with that friends, if you would like to. So I have some already cut out, but again, we're going to go over our scissor work. I hope you guys have been working with your scissors at home. Again, your thumb goes through the circle part of the scissors and then your pointer finger and your middle finger goes through the oval part. And then you're just going to open and close. And this part of your thumb needs to always point back at you. Okay, so maybe you can ask mom or dad to put a little smiley face right there on your thumb so that you see it when you're cutting. So we're just going to cut maybe a few more um, strips of paper to be our logs for the campfire. And, oh, I forgot to tell you, you also need glue for this craft. So glue, you can use a glue stick, you can use a glue bottle. Um... And then, of course, the paint. Oh, and a paintbrush. Or if you don't have a paintbrush, Miss Ramsey couldn't find a paintbrush, so I'm using a Q-tip. All right. This is fun, isn't it, guys? All right. So we are going to lay our logs. This is just our paper that we cut into, um, I guess, long rectangular strips of paper how we want to describe what this is is a long rectangular paper so we're gonna glue those down okay and it's gonna look like that I don't know if you can see right you want to just go ahead and mix match glue down your strips of paper and then you want to get some yellow paint and then you want some red paint and you want to make orange. So we're going to do red and try to show this for y'all and yellow mixed together. And I'm going to use my trusty paintbrush or Q-tip to mix the color. This is kind of difficult on my nice paper plate from H-E-B. I love H-E-B. Um, all right, so that's like a real fiery looking orange. This is red and then of course yellow. And it's like slipping everywhere because the way I'm holding it. Okay, so you got your paint and then, um, oh yeah, did you glue your I'm so not good at crafts, friends. This is why Miss Roberts is fabulous um, with crafts because this is really her thing. So as you can see, this was my campfire. I'm going to add some more fire on top of what I already glued down. So again, you got your strips of paper and you're going to glue them down and then add your fire 
with your paint brushes or your Q-tip, whatever you have on hand. Ooh. All right, and so when you're camping, you need fire if you're gonna make s'mores, right? Or if you're camping in the colder months of November and December, um, you might wanna make a campfire to stay warm. So there is Miss Ramsey's campfire. All right, so that is craft number one that I did. Um, I think I'm out of time though. I'm trying to get ready to um, go see my father-in-law. So I will make the other one for you later on or maybe tomorrow, we'll see how much time I have. But um, we're going to make a little tent. So if you have popsicle sticks, I'm not sure what I did with my popsicle sticks, but if you have popsicle sticks and a piece of construction paper and you can save some of your brown scraps for your logs, um, you can make a tent. And so I'll do this craft for you probably later on today or tomorrow. All right. Bye, kiddos. Stop recording. Bye.